Alrighty guys, welcome back. Today we've got a really, 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 really cool one and a really, really deep one actually, or at least the way that I interpreted it uh, when I listened to it. This is God Smacks Under, or God Smack is the group, Under Your Scars. And this was on the song request form. This was on the song yeah. request form, yeah. Okay, so... This was released July 19th of 2019, and it has 34 million views on it. So somebody likes so it. So somebody likes <clears> it. <throat> Only that one person likes it. But uh, what do you know on this one? Because I'm going to save any comments that I have for the end. <laughs> um, what I found out was that the lead singer, his name Sully, Sully Erna. Erna. Yeah. Okay. So Sully Erna was. When the group first came out, they were a, they've always been a heavy metal band. Okay. okay. And they did a lot of touring, I guess, with a, another group called Alice in Chains. Okay. And, um, and they just got to be known as that heavy metal. Is it a heavy and metal that you can't understand what they're saying, or a heavy metal that you can actually understand what they're saying? I have no clue, because <laughs> I haven't heard any of their other stuff except this. Okay. But, you know, when I when I picture heavy metal, and I may be so totally wrong, okay, in regard to this, but it's my perception of it. Right. Okay? As, yeah. an, old, as an old fart, it's my perception. You live through the 80s. And... But in the seventies. <laughs> but I picture heavy metal had banging and mosh pits. In mosh pits. Yeah. That's what I picture it as. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know if that's true or not. Or how it is today. But that's just my perception. Yeah. Okay. And I always and it was never my it was never my thing and I just kinda of stayed away from it. Right. But he was getting tired of it. Okay. Okay. And was trying to slowly wane out of that genre just to hard rock. Right. Okay. Okay. And this is their first ballad. Um, it, uh, it, you know, and it's really... It's, it's a ballad. It's, it's new. It is a ballad. <laughs> um, and it's about how a person's scars are part of them. Okay. But they're still lovable. Okay. Okay. So, even though you've you know, you have whatever difficulty going on, you know, whatever, I mean, whether it's a, uh, whether it's a physical handicap or, mm. you know, a mental handicap or, you know, whatever the, whatever the case is, whatever your scar, scars are, mm -hmm. despite that, you're still who you are, you're still lovable. Right. That's his whole, that's his whole point in this thing. Mm -hmm. and, you know, so that's what I know about the song. That's all I know about the song. What I did find out, which I thought this was pretty, I thought this was pretty funny, was I wanted to know how they got their name. Okay, because I'm thinking, God, I'm saying God smack and I'm heavy metal, and I'm going, this doesn't seem to fit. God, okay. God smacks you. Well, <laughs> in just, the reality, it didn't seem, it just didn't seem to fit for right. me. So um, I started looking up how they got their name, mm -hmm. and. And a lot of folks thought it was, or think it's because when they were traveling with Alice in Chains, I guess Alice in Chains has a song called Godsmack. Okay. And they just took the name. All right. But according to Sully Erna, the lead singer, he was saying that how they really got their name was he was making fun of somebody who had a cold sore on their lip. Wow. And the next day... He wakes up. He's got a cold. He sore. has a cold sore on his lip. He's God smack. And somebody, and when he was saying something about it, somebody said, "It's a God smack." Just like what you were saying, yeah, smack. You know, and the name stuck. Okay. That's what he says. I think that's a much funnier story than just grabbing the name off of a song. Yeah. Get, you know, yeah. I like this one better, actually. If it's not true, it's more entertaining. Yeah. I think. Right. So, uh, so anyway, but that's really. You know, that's really all I know about it, and, uh, um, you know, and I'm anxious to hear it all. I've only heard the very, very beginning of it, so, um, and, you know, and I thought, hey, this is kind of my, this is, this, this is kind of what I like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, we'll see, and whoever, um, you know, whoever suggested it on the, um, 
request for them. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much because mm -hmm. you're Absolutely. kind of you're broadening me. And you're yes. listening for putting it on the request form. Well, besides you're that. listening. <laughs> Thank you. Besides that. So anyway, anyway, I, I'm ready. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and hear it. Let's get started. <laughs> Perfect way to start it. I love it. Perfect way to start I it. I love it. Scars Foundation. Foundation. Yeah. yeah. So one thing that I wrote uh, ahead of time before we did all this was we're all human and we all have our scars. We all have our baggage. We all have 
right. who we are, but that's still us and we're still who we are and we don't have to worry about what other people say, you know, because, and I keep hearing it with, um, you know, with people who are together or in relationships or, or relationships or who are married or whatever. We're two imperfect people coming together. Right. But with this, it's still, we're all imperfect people. But instead of, you know, oh my goodness, I'm imperfect. You need to embrace the fact that you're imperfect and you are who you are. He said this at the beginning, we're all imperfectly perfect. Correct. So just because you're imperfect, it's just like asking, what's the definition of normal? Can you answer what the definition of normal is? No, you can't because we all have our own definitions of normal because it's all who we are and it and that's our normal is who is is what makes up us. If that makes sense. It does. So keep going. Yeah, no. <laughs> We're preaching, brother, <laughs> preaching. <laughs> so yeah, so this that um yeah. I mean I've just been hearing a lot of that lately, is just, you know, I'm imperfect and you're imperfect, you know, but instead of feeling down and wallowing in our own self-pity, you know, we need to embrace who we are and just be who we are. And if people don't like it, people don't like it. Don't be friends with me because I am who I am and I'm not going to change myself for who you want me to be. You, and you know how people um, always say that like opposites attract? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, you play off each other's strengths. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whether it's a whether it's a team at work, mm -hmm. okay, you give people certain, whatever their strength is. That's what your duty is, and this was your duty. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a couple um, or any kind of relationship right. like yeah. like that, you're strong in this category, mm -hmm. where I'm not. Right. I'm strong in this category, okay, right. where where you're not. Mm -hmm. You're not perfect. I'm not perfect. But, but together, together, you put the strengths together, mm -hmm. and guess what? We're perfectly perfect. Yeah, right? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And which makes so much sense. Mm -hmm. But getting that through, getting that message through to people. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. And I love this song because, you know, when, when we got through, and especially with the Scars Foundation part. Yeah. Okay. When... Um, it, you know, the message is there, the video is there, but it's in that, it's in that rock format, mm -hmm. okay, for me, you know, I mean, hey, for a heavy metal band, this might be a quiet ballad, I don't know, okay, but it's not like Paul McCartney singing a ballad, Okay, with his one acoustic guitar right. and nobody else playing. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not like that. But this was this was so cool. I could I was still engaged in it, you know, and uh, you know through the you know through the entire thing. So the music had me, the um, the lyrics had me, the whole process behind it, the opening the opening remarks. You know where we are perfectly imperfect and everything you know that everything that he said mm -hmm. were so important to getting into the song yeah that was so there were just so many you know great um, great things for me one thing that I did notice on there what's that did you notice do you know how to, do you know how to make a kid smile Hand him a pair of drumsticks. <laughs> every, no, every, not just every single one of those kids. Because that would have been me. The little, the little one. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, you had the one with the drum head and a pair of drumsticks. Yeah. You had the guy in the wheelchair, a pair of drumsticks. Everybody in that video mm -hmm. had a pair of drumsticks, and I'm like, yes, from a drummer. I mean, I, you gotta love it. But, you know, they weren't holding guitar picks. They weren't. They all had drumsticks, and the one... So are you saying one, something about us other musicians? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but, there's, but there's a power, okay? There is a... You're invincible by holding the there, two mighty drumsticks. You, you are. You feel it. You, you feel it. In fact, when you had... They, they even showed one kid who was behind the drum set, and he was kind of, yeah. like, reaching out. Yeah. And then you... And then... I mean... 
the guy who is the drummer in here, I mean, good drummer, don't know anything about him, but, right. you know, but, you know, he, you know, he was showing his passion in there. You see all these great drummers. Okay, you see Roger, Taylor, yeah. Yeah. okay, and how the passion that he had, there's a power, there is a sense of, I got this, and I can beat the crap out of these things, and nobody's going to care what it sounds like, unless it's really off. Yeah. Then nobody's going to care, you know. And I can break drum heads. I can do whatever I want and get away pay with it. for the drum heads and, that you break and get it and get away with it. So, um, you know, but it was just funny that every one of those kids had this big grin on their face, and every one of them was holding their drumsticks. And I'm like, yeah, that's that's awesome. So sorry. No, you're fine. <laughs> so, you're just demoting all us other musicians because no. drums are superior. <laughs> oh my God, thank you. You're never going to hear that Finally. again. Finally. I'm writing it, but I've got it on tape. No, you're so. never, never going to hear that again. No. So That was all sarcasm, guys. I did not mean a word of that. <laughs> so anyway, no, but the but the video itself, mm -hmm. I, I mean... That's one that I could listen to over and over and over again. I don't know if you noticed, but I was on my phone like five minutes ago or whatever while you were talking. Guess yeah. what I was doing? Oh, no. I was adding that to my playlist. Yeah. I was literally adding that to my playlist. That so is, I, I like that one a lot. I, I mean, I would, mm -hmm. I would continually play that. And like I say, whoever, Request you know, you know that. who you are. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. That was powerful. So, you're all set? I'm good. All right, I'm skipping the announcements today. Okay. Because of the message that was in here and how powerful that message was, That's I think enough. everyone needs to just focus on that. So, yeah, no announcements today, guys. Y'all are in luck. Have a good rest of your day. And, um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. All right. Peace out, guys.